Hello, listeners. This is Get to Know an RSO on 89.1 Wider FM. My name is Dan, and today we have a special guest from the International Student Council for our Mental Health Week special. Hello, Yen. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Absolutely stellarly. I've been saying that a lot. I'm trying to use, I try to use like big fancy words. Um, tell me, how's your first week of classes been? It's been pretty busy. Like, um, there's a lot on my plate, 15 credits plus International Student Council, but it is very fulfilling and I'm super happy about it. Awesome. I'm glad you're, I'm glad you're having a good time doing it. Can you tell me a little bit more about yourself? Um, where are you from? Sure. So my name is Yen, again, um, I'm from Malaysia, and I'm currently a senior in advertising and promotion, and the vice president of WMU International Student Council. Awesome. And um, can you tell me, what is, I'm sorry, can you say that again? That was advertising and promotion, correct? Right. Tell me a little bit more about that. Sure. So as an advertising major, I'm actually in the business school. So I learned a lot about like marketing and like promoting an advertisement, creating a whole campaign and stuff like that. It's a lot of the businessy stuff. Okay, awesome. Um, and I guess to go on a little more more of a personal side, um, what kind of what hobbies do you have? What do you like to do in your free time? Um, I personally love to go for events on campus. Like there are mm. a lot of RSOs that have like really fun events. I like to do that, and sometimes I just like to sit at home and watch Netflix. Good answer. Good answer. Both of those. Now I'd like to get to know a little bit more about, about your RSO and uh, what you do there. Can you tell me what your position is at the International Student Council? Right. So I'm the vice president of the International Student Council, and the International Student Council has been striving to enhance the overall experience of international students to create an inclusive environment that nurtures cultural diversity. So our goals are set to four pillars of striving to improve the well-being of our current students, support incoming international students, support the success of cultural student associations, and help students to adapt towards the U.S. culture. And what drew you to the International Student Council? Right, so as an international student myself, I understand that it can be hard to adapt to a new environment because like for an environment that's different from your own and like at the same time a lot of culture shocks Mm -hmm. so one of the biggest problem I encountered was really meeting friends like getting new friends Mm -hmm. so throughout the whole time I'm so afraid that like people would judge me for my broken English and my accent so as um, an international student myself I want to be the one to provide to the other international students to provide a better environment for them to adapt to this much more easily awesome and just to learn a little bit more about your position what does the vice president do for the international um, student council right so i connect with faculties but at the same time with culture student organizations on campus to promote collaborations so I connect with them, make sure we have a good relationship. So because sometimes it's also easier to like promote your events, but because we really hope that cultural RSOs can be more engaging on campus, we try to support as much um, support that they need, the help and everything. So I'm in charge of like the liaison between me and the faculty if they have anything they want to let the RSOs know. But also at the same time, if RSO have anything that they wish the faculty could help them with, I work like I make. I'm like the bridge in between. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you have any examples of, of anything you've done recently? So, yes. So currently, we are actually working on um, International Festival, which will be on the October 15, 2 to 6 p.m. at Miller Auditorium. So Haneke um, Institution High is at um, H-I-G-E, sorry. <laughs> they are actually in charge of the International Festival. And I, am as the vice president, I um, work in between the faculty of letting the culture RSO knows, know about all the information they need to know in order to be part of the international festival. So I talk to the culture RSOs on like, okay, well like what are the things that you need to do? So are you going to be having a performance? If you are, what type of performance is that? So I work between the faculty and that, and we'll be having a much frequent meeting in order to make sure that international festival goes as well as it can on October 15th. So um, also promoting our event. So <laughs> everyone feel free. Like if you are free that day, please come to our event. 
International Festival, October 15, 2 to 6 p.m. at Miller Auditorium, where we'll be having like cultural food. You can learn about the culture, like the diverse culture um, around the world and free food, um, performances and fashion show. Great. It, I, it's hard to say no to free food. I'll probably have to stop by there this next week. Um, as it is Mental Health Week, um, mental health of students are at the forefront of all of our minds. Um, what are some unique challenges specific to international students uh, when it comes to their mental health? Right. I think that a lot of stuff, like almost everything can be a challenge. So in a new environment that's completely different from yours, they might feel lonely because it's also hard to make friends. Like for me, it really took me around two years to put my, to be able to put myself out there to make friends. And I think a lot of international students, they really have the struggle of making friends because it's sometimes like English isn't their first language. They are worried that people can't understand them easily and stuff like that. So like we really strive to make sure that students are in the like they they have the opportunity to meet friends so they don't feel lonely, they feel okay if they really need help, we are always here for them. What are some things that the International Student Council is currently doing to uh improve the mental health of of international students on campus? So as mentioned, being in a foreign country alone can be stressful and very nerve-wracking for the mental health. Therefore, um, the International Student Council is thrilled to announce our latest initiative called Talk Talk Session. It gives students an opportunity to connect, learn, and get the support you need, right when you need it. So students can actually schedule an appointment with us every Thursday and Friday to talk about anything, whether it's about academic, personal, or anything in between. ISC is always here for you. Great. And where can someone learn more about your RSO if they're interested in either participating or, you know, getting help? Mm -hmm. So if you want to connect or know more about us, do follow us on Instagram at ISC underscore WMU. So if you guys would like to talk to us, you guys could go to our Instagram to check out our Talk Talk session, the activities we are coming, like we are having, and check out our soon-to-be-released podcast and videos on international students talking about their experiences. Awesome. And you can learn more information about them by visiting our website at widrfm.org under the original series tab. Thank you for listening to this episode of Get to Know an RSO. And come back soon to learn about more ways to get involved on campus at Western Michigan University. Thanks for coming on, Yen. Thank you. I hope you all have a good one.